bargain for. Really? I didn't sleep at all. A little cramped, but... Oh, man. How'd you do, Hayden? Pretty good, man. Pretty good? We survived, barely. I'm ready for some coffee. All right, so we made it to Buenos Aires and I am transferring airports in order to get on an earlier flight on my current airline. So we're going on a 40 minute taxi ride across the city. We'll see what happens here. But uh, I just, I don't want to sit around this airport for the next three and a half hours. So we're, we're transferring. Whew, it is nice out. It's like, it's actually quite humid. It's kind of crazy. So I'm gonna have to uh, unlayer, if you know what I mean. Oh, it's beautiful. It's crazy that it's spring slash turning into summer down here. And we made it through security and yes, I, I needed to pick up some Toy Story band-aids. I'll explain what this is all about here in a minute. I need some water though, coffee. And probably a stick of gum. Just saying. Just saying. All right. This is the last airport before getting to the final location, Bariloche. Thank you. Now we're in business. Now we're in business. Let's go. <laughs> so a little uh, little behind the scenes for all of you. Uh, on the way down from Dallas to Argentina, I realized, uh-oh, I forgot to grab the tape. So you, you may not know this, but the reason the audio usually sounds pretty good on the vlog is because I have a mic right underneath my shirt, right here, and it picks up the audio pretty well. Well, it's taped to my shirt. Every single morning, I tape it on my shirt on the inside right there, and you can probably hear me touching it right now, uh, but I forgot the tape at my house in Denver because I don't have my camera bag. I'm using this USA bag. So therefore, that is why I have the Toy Story Band-Aids. Decided, decided to go with Toy Story in case I have a few extras by the end of the trip, bring them back for the boys. But So I need fresh tape in order to hold the microphone in place so you can hear me while I'm down here doing my thing in Argentina. All right, let's, let's get her, let's get it all set up here. I think this is gonna work. Improvise, improvise. It's like adapting to uh, a new situation in a race. Maybe the race is not playing out like you expected. You have to adapt. You have to think on your feet. Boom, I think it's gonna work. It's a little high. Boom. little windy in Argentina. Oh, here we go. One more shuttle. One more shuttle. We made it to Argentina. 
for this was a this was a bigger trip i've never been on an airplane for 10 hours straight and i must say though my legs feel really good jogging right now here in the hills of argentina but it was a it was a heck of a a travel situation i'll just put it in that terminology so we're shaking out the legs two to three miles just to wake them up a little bit after the airplane ride and then i gotta go to bed i did not sleep on much i probably slept two hours maybe three hours it just was rough it was a little rough i'm just putting it out there but it's all right it's all good we're it's all positive we're just moving forward moving forward all right let's go explore a little bit of argentina I hope your run was great today. Everyone out there around the world, oh man, nice and easy three miles for me. Just shaking the legs out, shaking them out. Almost back. Okay, back from the jog. Oh man, all right, you ready to see the view? Not too shabby. Definitely seeking beauty here in Argentina. All right, go fly. And you didn't think I could cook a little bit, just a little bit. I learned something in college, how to fry an egg. Just like that. That's how we do it here. That is how we do it. Ladies and gentlemen. All right, we're... We're wrapping it, folks. I got nothing left. Oh, that was a delicious egg sandwich. And uh, we're gonna keep the question of the day simple as well because, again, I just need to go to bed. Uh, how was your run today? What did you do? Did you do a workout? Maybe it was, even though it's, I guess, the middle of the week, I've kind of lost track of time. I think it's Wednesday. Um, so how was your run? Maybe you did a long run today, middle distance run, I don't know. Let us know down in the comments. I hope it was great. As I said, out on my little three mile bop, um, bopperoo. And um, let's see, so when you're watching this, it's Thursday, if you're watching it the day it publishes, and my race is Friday morning, so it's tomorrow in real time. And I do not know, I don't think there's any sort of TV coverage, but I could be wrong. I will be briefed tomorrow on all the race instructions and what's gonna happen out there on the course. Um, I've, heard the, I've heard through the grapevine, the course is uh, you know pretty gnarly, so uh, we are down in the Patagonia region. So it'll just be interesting to see what unfolds. I hope to do a little a little bit of a course preview tomorrow. Get out there and just see not the entire course because it's eight miles, but you know, maybe a couple miles of the, the first couple miles of the course. So again, um, I know this vlog was a little a little choppy, a little crazy, but um, I just uh, that was that was it was just a long ways. On my watch it says uh, it was 5,900 miles of travel from Denver to San Carlos Barrio, Bar, Bariloche, Bariloche. So at least it's beautiful here, as you saw with the drone. All right, everyone. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all your support. And we're signing off. Oh, man. Throwing it back to a couple vlogs from... Uh, we're going to go back to a couple racing vlogs uh, on the trails. Since this is a, a trail race, a mountain race, I have done a couple other races 
recently this year on the trail. So I'm gonna toss it back on the right and the left to both of those. All right, see beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.